So today we're going to be unboxing and installing a blower motor for a 2001 Chevy Silverado. This works for a 99 to 03 models in the 1500 series. Alright, let's see what we got here. There we go. Nicely packaged. Let's be receipt. we go there's a blower motor all right so for to see if your blower motor is going bad um, just turn it to the on turn that off you can hear it and then you can hear squealing at the end and whenever you're driving down the road you can uh, hear a squeal Whenever you're going so I'm gonna show you how to replace that and first off you're gonna have to go down under here this is the glove box and underneath there is this little under tray and then there's seven millimeter bolts that you need to take out there should be three of them my truck only has two for some reason but it'll all work out all right I'm gonna be using an impact but if you go under here, there's one right there, and two right there, and then probably it would be on your vehicle, but on mine there isn't. There's one back there that you have to unscrew, and then this whole bezel down here pops out, and then you get access to your blower motor. These are what the screws should look like. And I'm just gonna get the next one. Okay, there's that one. And then pull down and out. Be sure back here. You can see where that little peg is back there. That's where that screw should be, but it I don't know where it is. That's how I just bought the truck, so and then just pull it out. And now you have access to your blower motor right here. You just have to unscrew a bolt right up there. And then another thing is if you want to check your cabin air filter, um, there's a screw back there unscrew it this mechanism drops down and then it pulls out at the top so let's get at the blower motor so this screw is uh 730 seconds you just put your impact or ratchet on it and then take it out there might be another one in the back but we're gonna find out There's that bolt. We'll see if we have another one back there. I can feel another one back there. Let's see if I can get it here. see if we can get this bolt out here
Not sure how they got that thing on from the factory. That thing's way in there. So I managed to get that bolt out. Um, what I did is I took this off, off the top, and then stuck it onto the bolt, and then um, just put this on, this little adapter, and then just put it in reverse, and it came out. So we're going to get at the blower motor here. So all you got to do is unplug this adapter. There's a little adapter right back there. You just push it in and then you should be able to remove this cover. Okay, so I just got that out. Just pull the cover out, set it aside. All right, so how to get this blower motor out is, uh, if you look up there, you can see um, that tab right there. Right next to that barcode, you pull down on that and twist it counterclockwise and it'll come out. I'm going to show you off camera because it's kind of hard to do with only one hand. You just got to take my word for it. Okay, so I finally got that blower motor out. What I had to do is I had to take this vice grip and go up here. So right there, that's how it's supposed to look. Like that with the tab right there. But what I had to do is, just to get it out, that you don't have to do this when you get in, I had to go from underneath and grip it and then pull it down and then just turn it clockwise, counterclockwise and then it'll come right out. Alrighty, compare the two parts so that they're the same. So this is the old, this is the new. So you can tell this one, you can hear there's like a bearing or something wrong and you flip, flip this one, nice and quiet and smooth compared to this one. You kind of hear a little squealing in there so that, that's my problem. The other thing you want to check out for in the blower motor hole is for like a leaf or something because if you take your blower motor apart and it's completely fine and it's not squealing like that there might be a leaf stuck in there that it's making a little rattle against it whenever the blower is moving so what you got to do now is take your blower motor right here find where your connector is and see if there's your connector you want to make sure that it's facing towards the driver's um, steering wheel, kind of in that direction, not at the steering wheel, but in the direction. So you just slide it in there and then twist it. It'll be it. clockwise and then it'll click. Alrighty, so to get this in, you can see right there's a tab sticking out. What you want to do is Go and line it up with that tab, and then come over to the other side. Twist it a little bit. Oh. Right. Tab. Line it up. Okay. Uh, up your tab. I got it on camera, but 
She's in now. Okay, so what you're gonna do to get this cover back on is feed your wire harness through. The little hole right here, let's slide it out. Just take your connector, plug it in. Okay, connector's in. I'm gonna go and test it really quick. Okay, come over here. Mission on. She's working, let's hear, hear it shut down. Perfect, eliminated that squeal right at the end. And then just go and plug in the rest of your stuff. So I put this front screw on, and then remember from the beginning there was one that went in the back. Alrighty, so I just got the bolt barely in there. What I'm gonna do is take my little impact, stick that on there. I just have this little socket on here, and it just slides in, quarter inch socket, slides in. So I'm gonna go back there up where the screw is and then try and get it in. So once you got your back bolt in, you're gonna wanna put in your piece for the bottom. So just, all it is is going over, lining up all the holes. Okay, so you got your cover on, put your bolt on, still have to put that other one on, but the one over there I don't have, so I'm just going to put these two in, should be good to go. Alrighty, so that's how you install a blower motor on a 2001 Chevy Silverado 1500. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe.